Welcome back to Homeschooling Through High School. My name is CJ, and today I'm going to discuss with you my seventh graders curriculum subjects with a little twist on science, and please stick around for that. We do what is called a soft opening. So as each week goes by, whenever we decide to start, we usually start on a Wednesday, and we do either one or two subjects for that week. And then the next week, we add on another subject or two, or possibly a co-op class or things like that. So we are starting with a soft opening. Now, let's dive into the subjects. For the first third of the school year, my seventh grader will be studying marine biology alongside her sister in the sixth grade. Now, my sixth grader asked, could we please study marine biology? She is just so infatuated with sea life. And so Skylar decided to join her as well, so they'll be doing that together. Um, but notice I said for a third of the school year. Now, marine biology is probably going, going to last about um, one full semester. However, Skylar's gonna tinker off and do something else. That's the twist, wait for it. For pre-algebra, uh, she will be doing um, Art of Problem Solving through Well-Trained Mind Academy. She will be doing Guest Hollows, World Geography, and I spoke about that in a separate video. You can see that here. <laughs> and for Language Arts, we have a combination of Fix-It Grammar, Worldly Wise, Phonetic Zoo, and lots of literature studies and i'm going to have a separate video just on that because it's a lot and so i'd love to share that with you and show you how we're going to do that we will possibly add on a becca as well for the language and writing portion of it or maybe just the language portion of it because the literature studies will bring about a lot of writing and so we're still finalizing that yes we still are i know we're like in the middle of august but we're still planning on um, finishing up that one little aspect, and so stay tuned for that. Along with everything I've listed, she will be doing Spanish, gymnastics, safety and uh, maturation unit from The Good and the Beautiful. Those are two separate unit studies, so the safety unit and then the maturation unit will be doing that. Uh, theater, and then the twist. So my daughter has a passion for baking. She just, she really does. And we were recently on a trip and she asked to look up something on my phone. And to my surprise, she was reading the laws for our state on how to open up a business and what she needs to do so that she can open up her baking business. And there is the twist, you guys. We are going to design a course for her. She's going to start off with taking baking classes here locally. And so I'm gonna set her up with several uh, macaroons, um, cakes, so forth and so on. We are also going to have her speak to some of the neighbors that own their own businesses and can speak into her and her, um, her desire and she can ask them questions. We had a block party uh, to meet all of the new neighbors on the street and she baked cookies and it was a hit. And a few of the people, they own their own business and they said, hey, I would love to sit down with your daughter and chat with her and see where that takes her. So we're gonna do that, I'm very excited. Uh, we are also going to, um, have her go through an online course so that she can get a permit so that she can cook in my kitchen locally and then sell it in vendor fairs that I'm going to line up for her uh, between um, the end of the year going into the new year. And so she's gonna be doing that as well. I have cookbooks, um, this is just one of them. This one is actually a part of the uh, World Geography course, but I have other cookbooks and magazines that she'll be flipping through. And you know, there'll be birthday parties and gatherings. She's always baking for all of these types of occasions. She's taking it over, which is good because only God knows I can't bake a cake. I really can't, I buy the box stuff, you know? She does it from scratch. There you have it. Not only that, um, I'm so proud of her because my son, he has a list of allergens and she bakes um, allergy free items for him. And then all of the other folks like myself who can eat anything, she will bake bake those items for us. So two separate things, it's outstanding. So why not cultivate that from now? Why not groom her and, and create a course for her so that uh, if this is what she wants to do long-term, Let's get it started now. And so that is what she will be doing uh, for her science course. Very easy to take baking and, and create it into a science course. And then all the extra classes, business classes, her sitting down with her dad and going through some things. And then also this program that I'm gonna show you that my best friend said, hey, 
Sky would be perfect for this. She wants to open up her own business. This is what I taught my high schoolers in public school when they um, were venturing off into the real world. And she also shared it with her 13 year old nephew. And so she thought that it can be adapted to all ages. So I'm gonna share that with you here in just a moment. But, but why not? Why not cultivate this um, desire and this ambition that she has? And so I wanted to share that with you so that you could know that it is okay uh, to kind of, um, go off the beaten path a little bit, you know? So instead of me sitting through marine biology with her and then um, human anatomy and phys physiology and um, general science and animal science and all this other stuff, why not form something that she really wants to do? And so that is what we're gonna be doing for my seventh graders science this year. Hi. Um, my name is Dusty. I had the opportunity to teach uh, business management classes for 9th through 12th graders, dual credit. And every semester, I would have them do a business simulation by GoVenture. And uh, GoVenture was an incredible program. It was affordable, um, but it also taught my students what it really kind of meant to own a business, to run a business. Um, they got a really good idea of what it would be like to have their own business. Um, so I tried it out on my 13 year old nephew as well, even though I taught 9th through 12th grade. Um, I sat him down at the counter one day and had him try it out too before I presented it to those kids. And he loved it, absolutely loved it. He spent hours sitting there trying to make a profit. Um, the, the, it's, it's a lot like a video game. Um, but they're also making business decisions like inventory, how much inventory to order, setting the business hours, marketing plans, business plans. There's a lot to um, owning a business and this is the most realistic um, simulation that these kids could get. And so my 13 year old nephew approved, so I took it into the classroom. The kids absolutely loved it. Um, but CJ and I have been uh, friends for a really long time and when she told me that she was um, looking into uh, a business program, uh, this immediately came to mind and I thought she has to have this. So um, I wanna really encourage her to look into this and um, it's, it's a great program. Go Venture is awesome, gives a great um, outlook and look into owning your own business. All right, thanks Dusty. 